Curtis 50 Cent Jackson is making a docuseries for Netflix regarding Sean Diddy Combs' alleged sex trafficking and racketeering, as well as sexual assault and violent abuse. Alexandria Stapleton directs the film, which is now under production. This is a narrative with a strong human impact. It is a complex narrative spanning decades, not just the headlines or clips seen so far, 50 Cent and Stapleton revealed in an exclusive interview with Variety. We remain consistent in our dedication to giving voice to the voiceless and presenting genuine and nuanced opinions. While the charges are upsetting, we ask everyone to understand that Sean Combs' story is not the whole picture of hip-hop and its culture. We want to make sure that individual activities don't overwhelm the culture's overall contributions. 50 Cent executive produces under his G-Unit film and television label, while Stapleton does so for House of Nonfiction. 50 Cent first revealed that G-Unit would be producing the docuseries in early December, by which time Combs had been sued by four different women, beginning with ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura, whose case opened the floodgates against him and with whom he promptly reached a settlement. At the time, 50 Cent posted a video on X that featured Bad Boy Records rapper Mark Curry claiming that Combs would spike bottles of champagne at his events before women drank from them. The rapper producer stated that the documentary's proceeds will benefit victims of sexual abuse. Last Monday, Combs was arrested in New York and charged with three counts, racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, deception, or compulsion, and transportation for prostitution. He pleaded not guilty, but he remains in detention after being denied bail at his appeal hearing. Combs has also been served with multiple further lawsuits. In February, his former employee Rodney Lil Rod Jones claimed that Combs made unwelcome sexual advances and compelled him to hire and have contact with sex workers in 2023. Jones was also named in an April lawsuit in which Grace Omarque claimed that while working as a steward on a yacht, Combs' son, Christian King Combs, forced her to perform oral sex on him, and that Combs paid the yacht's captain to keep the incident quiet. Model Crystal McKinney accused Sean Diddy Combs of drugging and sexually assaulting her in 2003, and earlier this month, former Danite Kane singer Dawn Richard sued Combs for verbal abuse, assault, sexual battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. In May, CNN reported on a leaked video of Combs grabbing, shoving, and kicking Cassie in a hotel. Days later, he stated that he accepted full responsibility for his conduct in the video. That was the first and only time he admitted wrongdoing. Previously, he denied everything, issuing a comment on social media in December that stated enough is enough, according to Combs. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy, according to him. Shocking claims have been leveled against me by those searching for a quick payoff. Let me be quite clear. I did not do any of the heinous acts being accused. I will fight for my name, family, and the truth. The post no longer displays on his Instagram account, but it is still pinned to the top of his ex, previously Twitter, account as of the publication of this story. Furthermore, after Homeland Security raided his Los Angeles and Miami properties in March, he uploaded on Instagram the video for his 1998 song Victory, in which he flees from police, with the message Bad Boy for Life.